We love Avatar, and we have not watched the new Avatar. I'm scared. I'm scared. Like, I have been a lifelong, okay, a lifelong fan of Avatar. Lifelong fans. Ever since it came out, like, I've been watching it since a kid, and then I've rewatched it over yeah. the years. It's, like, actually one of my number one comfort yes. watches. Yes. I feel like it's, like, the best animated series. Yeah. It like, really in is. total. Like, no, a... I literally think it's one of the best series, <laughs> yeah. period. Right? <laughs> For real. From start to finish, yes. it's actually just... Magic. Magic. Yeah. Pure gold. Cinema gold. Cinema gold. And animation gold. Yeah, for all ages. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> all, I swear to God. I sound like a fucking nerd right now, but I swear, every age can enjoy Avatar. It's the truth. It's not, that's not a nerd thing to say, that's just the truth. <laughs> okay, the fact of the fact. But before we get all into it, I'm Nunu. I'm Madeline. And this is The Bar is Low, where we rate and review shows, movies, all the things, and mainly about love. Yes. Which Avatar... Has an excellent love story, really okay? Does. Actually, multiple excellent love stories. Yes, like romance and friendship, family. Friendship, family, adventure. So Quest, many values. So, growth. Yes. Development. The arcs. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the actual, I swear to God, it has the best character arcs of all the shows. It really does. <laughs> That's every show ever. No, it does because even the positive characters... Like Aang, yeah. he still has development huge, and growth. Huge growth. Like, and same with Katara, too. And then I think the best villain arcs of all time, actually. Zuko. Also, like, just pure villain arc. Oh Azula! We have been slow to watch the new one since we started seeing some concerning stuff. Yes. Which we're going to talk about. The biggest red flag to me is that the showrunners, the creators of the original Avatar, dropped out. Yeah of this while they were still creating it for them to actually be involved and obviously be wanting to make it and then be like wow this is so bad that i'm right like I'm what, what happened well they said that they didn't let them have creative like freedom freedom right? over yeah. it or whatever but i just feel like what are y'all doing that they were so irritated that they just had to step down like they didn't want their name attached to it yeah so that bothers me because they did such a good job such a good job love. And then we started seeing more stuff come out about like what some of the changes were. Mm -hmm. And I saw the actor that played Sokka talking about that they kind of changed his storyline to be less like sexist in the beginning. Yes. And like that it's more balanced and like his relationship with Katara and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, like, like more equal. Yeah, more equal and stuff. But it's like that, what, what we were just saying about the character arcs, that's his character arc. Exactly. He's like hecka immature and just. Yeah. And he thinks that like women are beneath him in a sense or like he's always talking down to women like yeah. men are better. Yeah. And he don't even got no fucking powers. Yeah. And then he gets his ass. No He powers. gets his ass fucking. Handed to him. Every time. <laughs> again and every again. Every time. In the cartoon, we literally see them grow. Yeah. From like these kid mindsets into adulthood. Yeah. I'm so invested, bro. So I just invested. I'm so invested that it's really irritated me that I don't know, just the possibility that we would have another week live adaptation of it. It's just it's what, was what was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? They said like the one of the inspirations for it was like Game of Thrones, like in terms of like the vibe, and it's like what? It's so and they're saying like it's not a kids show. Really? Like, why not? Cause the cause the original transcended the genre. Okay. Thank you. You could be a kids show and actually a show for everybody. Yes. I'm just confused because why your only inspiration should literally be Avatar: The Last Airbender. I know because the cartoon. That Sorry. shit is handed out to you on a silver fucking platter, a gold platter, whatever fucking, the best fucking platter the it best. is handed to you on. A diamond encrusted platter, okay? Yeah. So I just, I just don't understand. It's irritating me. I do kind of feel like I want to watch it just to see yeah. if I'm intrigued. I'm going to watch it. Just Eventually. Yeah. I got to work up to it. Because when I first heard that it was coming out before I heard all this stuff, I was like genuinely excited. Because at first, I just thought they were going to be on the show. Me too. And then I was like, oh my god, the actual original showrunners are making a live action. Right? Gonna be, this Perfect. is exciting. Yeah. But then all of this stuff has been coming out, and it's like, I need to first process the disappointment <laughs> so I can watch it without expectation. I know we've seen this tweet that just is like building up all this excitement, you think, mm -hmm. and then it's like... Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not going to lie. They had me, and I was like, wait, somebody actually liked it. I don't know, and then I've seen some of like the little acting clips. My father Bruh. has banished me until I find the avatar, and that's exactly what I'll do. And it's just like, Bruh. it just, 
I just have a strong attachment to to the cartoon character. Yeah, they're just not the same. Yeah, it's just a hard spot to be in because they literally got a blueprint, but also they need to make it their own in a sense yeah. to give something else to it. But I feel like the only thing that they needed to give to it was it being live action. Yeah, exactly. That's really what that I actually feel like. is the only thing you need yeah. to bring to it. I just really do feel like certain things should be. It's like a national treasure. It's a national treasure. It should be protected and left alone. <laughs> yes. But have y'all seen it? Because if you liked it, we would love to know. I know. Like, I need. we need y'all to warm us up to it because I'm not, I'm still cold. I just feel like, I feel like I'm a, a, one of the showrunners. I know. Who stepped down from the yeah. project. And I feel like I'm standing with them mm -hmm. in solidarity. Yeah, exactly. For the time being. Because I'm just like, I just don't know if this is going to eat how it's supposed to. Yeah. And I'm starting to feel like it's just not going to. Yeah, and it's like, it's a waste of time if y'all can't really I know. keep up with... It's a waste of time and it's upsetting. <laughs> Emotionally draining. Boring is a